It was a time where I thought you could talk to people and you could rally and march and hold hands and everything would be all right. America respects power. They need to understand that if we build a community and they go on try and come and burn it down, burn down houses and lynch people, like Black Wall Street, like Oklahoma, they're gonna be met with firepower. Give black people their rights, or we will burn this country to ashes. This is Halt Newsom. He's the chairman of the BLM Greater New York chapter. He spent last summer protesting against police brutality. But he wanted to take it a step further. So he co-founded Black Opportunities, or Black Ops, a separate organization advocating sweeping national reforms to law enforcement, education, and housing. Under the Black Ops umbrella, he's now gearing up to start a civilian police group called Peace Officers that would protect Black communities from violence, including at the hands of the police. It's a controversial initiative, but there's precedent for it. The Black Panther Party formed armed patrols in the 60s to challenge police brutality in Oakland. And as calls to defund the police ramped up in 2020, several cities like Minneapolis have tried to experiment with civilian-led policing. Newsom started organizing peace officer trainings last year. He invited us to Texas to experience one of them. Shit is ready? Do it! Stop! Stop. One, two, pump it out, let's go. Four, five, six, pump it out. What is the objective of a peace officer? The objective of a peace officer is to defend our communities against all threats. Be they the police, be they internal. A lot of people talk about abolishing the police. So what we promote is an alternative to policing, a way to establish order to maintain order. And we figure if we do that ourselves internally, it'll be done with the compassion. It'll be done with the love that's necessary. All right, so we are going to cover the laws of carrying a handgun. The first thing peace officers have to learn is what it means to own a gun. Carl Stevenson, a licensed to carry instructor and police officer, is leading the weekend long training. Texas Penal Code. 46, subchapter 30-06, 30-07, rules and regulations where you can and you can't carry a firearm, the government code, transportation of firearms, ammunition by license holder, the labor law, federal laws. Get you a nice safe because you have to have your firearm secure. Traffic stops with LTC holders. Whoop, whoop, whoop. How you doing? Also with the tactical uh, police association. Any firearms, anything you really need to know about? If a person is a imminent threat at that moment, I don't care what law you got going on that you need to know in your heart of heart, if somebody's about to kill you, you need to be able to defend yourself and you should defend yourself. I also have a fire. That's my, uh, my Stevenson is a cop who does trainings like this all the time. But this one's different in that these students might use their training to intervene against police brutality. As a black man, if I feel like a cop is about to kill me, I have a license to carry. Do I have a right to defend myself <laughs> and shoot the police officer. How are you supposed to even make it to when backup units arrive to even survive to see that day? Well, if unless you, you, well, unless if you, you get butt naked and have your gun out, that's the only way you're going to survive because most of the time if you just chill the hell out, it usually... But we've seen... 99% we, of the time, it goes... They killed Philando Castile. They killed George Floyd. They George, killed countless people. It, with with guns and without guns, this is a, a real concern. This isn't a situation where it's just random, right? It's or or it, it, you might be lucky as a black man to get out. That's the reality. You might be lucky to get out. You know how many black men get pulled over with guns every single night and they don't die? A lot, a whole lot. You know how much media coverage that 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 covers? None. Let me ask you this, Carl. You in plain clothes in your personal vehicle? You get stopped by an aggressive white police officer. Are you going to say, are you going to let him know that you are a police officer? I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let him know I'm a police officer right off a of jump. When... We don't have that privilege. That's exactly. The point. We don't have that privilege. You know why you do that? 
because it's going to protect you. <laughs> yes. You see what I'm saying? It's the second day, and I'm out in the middle of the country on the outskirts of Houston, Texas, out here to do some, some gun training, training to protect the black community. And I think they got a whole bunch of stuff in store, rolling in the mud and, and shooting guns and pistols and whatnot. We're gonna do yoga. So everyone come find a spot so that you can place one hand on the rim. Inhale, inhale, sigh. <sighs> Three more. Inhale. Inhale. Oh. That's not very peaceful. It's tough to be peaceful with gunshots. It's tough to be peaceful with white supremacists. It's tough to be peaceful with all the bullshit that's going on in the world. We're going to be shooting later. You're going to need to stay connected to your breath. You're going to need to have muzzle awareness. You're going to need to do all these things at the same time. And that's how life is. That's why we connect to self. That's why we do yoga. We're dealing with real guns here, people. Real fucking bullets that can kill you. This shit ain't a game. If you fuck up out here, somebody can die. Go ahead, turn around, face the target. The reason everybody is here is because each and every one of y'all is a leader. When I say up, you say stop. Up, stop. 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 You're here to learn skills that you can take back to your community. The magazine release is right here. Once the magazine release hits, it's able to wreck. It's our job to learn and uplift our people. So it's here, it's special, and it's fucking real. You up first. Load it up, don't make it. Hurry up, come on. When you see white supremacists that attempt to oppress us, threaten us, when they come for us, we gotta be like the brother Carl said, hard to kill. This is the business of liberation. This is the business of Harriet Tubman, Marcus Garvey, Asada Shakur. We are it. We carry the fucking torch. So y'all are in a situation. Y'all are doing y'all protests. These protesters are going to start fucking y'all up. Proud boys. Yep, proud boys. Or whoever. Y'all fight in the past. Go, fight. Stop. The peace officers will start patrolling and recruiting in New York and Atlanta on May 25th, the anniversary of George Floyd's killing. In New York City, local police decide if someone gets a concealed carry permit, so peace officers there will likely carry sticks or knives at first. Get your shotguns out. However, their counterparts in Georgia, where gun laws are looser, will be armed. Threat. <laughs> the peace officers is what America will see. They'll see big black people with guns. That's what they'll bite onto. But will they talk about how we're teaching our people trades? Will they talk, the, will they talk about how we're building unity in our community? Will they talk about how we're feeding our people? The guns is the easy bite. But let's talk about the real action behind it because that's what's gonna sustain. Father God, thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for this wonderful meeting of the minds. Thank you for all these beautiful hearts and these beautiful spirits who are looking forward to a better day, a day where we are not oppressed, a day where we are liberated people. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for this food we're about to have. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Newsom assembled a core group of community leaders who flew in from New York and Philadelphia for this training. With the ambitious vision that you all have to galvanize the black community, when the public sees you all, they, they see aggressive black folks. Well, that's how the media... They see Malcolm X, Jr., Junior, yeah. Huey Here's Newton. Here's my thing. <laughs> what's, what's, what's wrong with that? Why, why, why do our black leaders, why do our black organizations have to be docile? Have to be passive. So in, no. or, in, order, in order for us to... Uh, be representing black people the right way, we have to accept mediocrity. Our people, black people, brown people, <laughs> poor people, have been attacked overtly by white supremacy. 
time and time and time again. And it continues to this day. So how do we combat that? By defending ourselves. Right on. So with this and everything we're doing and how we're communing right now, and so you come home and you get four more brothers. Those four brothers keep growing and growing. It's not going to happen overnight. Black people weren't oppressed overnight. So it's why we're here doing the groundwork. Load it up. Matt. First guy. First guy. First guy in the red. Move. It may be some black people in the community that see the food program, the, the educational initiatives, and say, man, this brother, like, I rock with him. Hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Man, that joker talking about, you know, policing the police with guns and shooting up shit, this motherfucker crazy. Like, I can't, I can't get down with that. But the thing is, they know that we say the things that they want to say, but they too scared to say. Because there was a time that you were sitting at home in this past year and you were like, fuck the police. The difference is, I'm going to get on the stage in front of 25,000 people with news cameras everywhere, and I'm going to say, fuck the police. And I'm going to say, fuck Donald Trump. And I'm going to say, we don't give a damn about your threats. It seems like you kind of relish that fuck the police perception just a little bit. I'll be your bad guy. I'll be a bad guy. It's a hard job that nobody wants to do, that somebody has to do. I'll do it. I'll be the villain. Is that fuck the police attitude, would you say that would invite conflict because the police have the law on their side and they, and they say, well, you say fuck me? Well, fuck you. My brother. They're already bringing the conflict to us. They bring the conflict to us every single day. You mad at me for saying it or you mad at them for doing it? America has a new president, Joe Biden. And he has a, a plan for racial equity. And he's already announced the cancellation of federal contracts with private prisons. Yeah. Are you hopeful with this administration that things are gonna get better? America has a new president with the same old politics. The difference between Donald Trump and his predecessors is he had no coof. He said the truth. He said how he felt. The dominating class of America, he spoke for those people. The shrewd capitalists, the greedy, the oppressors. The Democrats speak for the same people but they'll give us crumbs off the table. I do not have faith in Joe Biden. Uh, I think he'll do the absolute minimum. Black people are the only people who will save black people. It will not be any other people, and it will not be the government. It is up to us to take control of our destiny.